Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Kermis at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can model a trunk. Alright, let's go. We're going to start off with a polygon cube and we're going to drag that out in the grid until we have roughly the size that we feel okay with. And hit 5 for shaded mode. I'm going to right click on the top, go to face, select that face, go to edit mesh and extrude. We're going to hit R and scale it in a bit. And we're going to check from our top view to make sure that we're symmetrical. Okay, so we need to pull this out a little bit more so all the edges are even, like that. Okay, and now we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude again, hit W. We're going to pull that down and we're going to check from our uh, side view. So we know that that is about even as well, okay? So that will give us this shape here so far, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to select a couple of edges here. So right click, go to edge mode, and we're going to select these edges. And we're going to select those as well. Like that. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and hit Bevel. Okay. Because these edges are never a hundred percent, you know, rectangular. So we're going to curve that a little bit. Okay. So now that we've got that, we're going to right click on this. We're going to go to Object Mode. Hit Control D to duplicate it. W to pull that up like that. We're going to hit E to flip it over. And make sure you're at exactly 90 degrees. In this case, minus 180. Like that. We're going to switch views. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that back a bit because the lid is not as high like that. We're going to hit F to zoom in a little. Hit W and we're going to pull that down to make sure that we're on top of our crate like that. Should be about good. Something like that. Okay. So now you can see you got this little gap here in the middle, which is good. Okay. Now we're going to create some uh, reinforcement for this crate here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our uh, front view here. First, I'm going to set the, all the translation values to zero. And that one as well. Just pull that lid back up again. Just check if we're still good. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go to this angle here, and we're going to go to Edit Mesh, uh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, okay, and we're going to put some edges in there and in there, and we're going to do the same down here. And We'll level them out in a second. Okay, hit Q. Let's see if that is still aligned. Not too bad. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to face. So right click face. We're going to select these edges. We're going to shift select those edges, uh, faces, sorry, like that. Let's roll all the way around. We're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out a little. And we need to move that back in to some extent. Okay, as you can see, this is open here. The reason for that is I forgot to select the faces inside the beveled edge. So we need to go back uh, a step. 
Okay, we'll do that one by one. So right click object mode, we're gonna pull the lid way up like that. We're gonna switch our views, right click face. We're gonna drag select those and shift drag select those. That should give us everything. Edit mesh, extrude. We're gonna hit R to scale that a little. And as you can see now, this is nice and closed. And as you can see, it's moving outward a bit. We need to pull that back in a little bit. I'll check from my, uh, from my front view to make sure that that is done sufficiently. Okay. So that is the lid of our trunk. Okay. Now we're going to do the same here. Um, I'll just get that out of the way here. So I'm going to select that one, pull that up, select that one. We're going to repeat what we just did. So right click, face mode, drag, select these, shift, drag, select these. Okay. Then we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude. We're going to hit R again. We're going to scale that out not too much a bit more like that and we're gonna pull that back in again so it's level and let's see what we got so far we're gonna pull that lid back down or push that whoop object mode sorry Let's see where we're at. Okay, so now we got that. Now we need to get some corner protection. So for that, we're gonna select the cube. We're gonna drag that out in the grid. We're gonna pull that up and we're gonna make it nice and square. So in our attribute editor, let's do two by two by two nice and square okay we're gonna right click go to face select one two and three and we're gonna delete that so we got that corner here right click go to object mode select the object edit mesh and extrude and we're gonna hit r and we're gonna scale it out a little to give it some thickness i'm gonna Push that down. Let's see what we got. Uh, let me think, let me think. Yeah, it's not too bad, okay. Now, we're gonna tweak that a bit. So, I'm gonna switch views again. That's my box. Let's check from all angles, okay. Now, I'm gonna try soft selection and see what happens. Object mode. Now, actually, that is not bad at all. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use for our corner protection. All right, so we've got this corner here, and now we're going to position that and scale it. So I'm going to switch to this view here, and I'm going to position it on the corner. Just hit F to zoom in a bit. And as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty large, so we're going to scale it down first. Hit R to scale down. Maybe something like that. And... Okay, let's see what that looks like. Uh -huh. I'm going to pull that over. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so we got that one. And uh, I need to copy that a few times. So I'm gonna select that, hit Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna pull that, oop. I'm gonna pull that copy over, over here. I'm gonna hit E to rotate that. 
just check that I got the right angle here, minus 90. Okay, I'm going to get that one in position. Hit F to zoom in. Uh, okay, let's see. Five for shaded mode. Okay, something like that. So that's one and two. We're going to um, do the same here. Control D. You know what, actually, uh, I'm going to do this on all four, on all eight corners, so I'll just pause the video so you don't have to watch that boring part. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, now I'm back. Um, so we got the corner protections on. Uh, now we're going to start with uh, the, uh, the hinges on the back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a cube. We're just going to drag that out. Hit F to zoom, oop, hit F to zoom in. We're going to pull that up just a little, like that. We're going to take a uh, polygon pipe, like so, pull that up, and we're going to tweak that a bit. So first of all, we're going to increase the subdivisions to 40. We're going to hit E to rotate that like so. So we're at minus 90. We're going to scale that down a lot. So hit R, scale that down quite a bit. Hit F to zoom in. We're going to hit W to move that in. And let's make sure it's level. So I need to check my view here. Okay, so I want that to be leveled out like that. And now we're going to stretch this. So hit R, stretch that out a bit more, something like that. We're going to check our top view. Okay, five for shaded mode. Now I want one there and hit control D and I want one about there maybe a bit further out okay something like that not too bad and I want two uh, just to break these edges a bit so right click edge mode And I'm just going to select these edges and go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. That looks about right. Okay. Now we're going to drag select the entire thing. Oop. Right click Object Mode, drag select the entire thing. And we're going to go up to Mesh and Combine. Okay. So now we've got that bit. We're going to hit E to rotate. I'll just center my pivot, modify center pivot, like that. And we're going to make sure we're at minus 90. Okay. And we're going to get that thing in place. So we're going to hit W. We're going to move that over, like so. We're just going to look at the back here so we can see it a bit better. Okay, so we need to move that up. I'll hit four so I can see it a bit better. Okay, one there. That's fairly large. I'm just going to scale it down a little. Something like that. Hit F to zoom in. W, and we're going to align that like so. And I'm going to hit Control D. I'm going to move that over. So I'm pretty much in the same position. Okay, like that. And I'm going to hit Control D to copy one of those guys. I'm going to pull that up. We're going to switch views again. So we got that thing. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to select that object, go to Mesh and Separate. 
I'm going to take one of those, delete that, take one of those, hit W, modify center pivot. I'm going to pull that over until it's in the middle. Let's check it from this view here. Yeah, looks good. We're going to combine these two, so mesh and combine. Uh, let me think. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate it. I'll just do center pivot, modify center pivot. We're going to rotate it by 90 degrees, 180 in this case, sorry. And we're going to move it in position. So let's pull that down. Okay, hit F to zoom in. And as you can see, this part here will probably not fit in between those, but we'll fix that on a second. First, we're going to get the height right. Okay, something like that. We're going to go back to mesh separate. We're going to select that guy, hit R, modify center pivot. We're going to pull it back. I'll just check it from this view here. And as you can see, that is not bad at all. Okay. Now we're going to select that one. We're going to select that one. Mesh and combine. Hit Control D to duplicate that. And W to move it over. So that we've got that one. Let's see if we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, we got the latches in the back, we got the corner protection, we got the elevation here. Now we're going to focus on the front part of the, uh, the trunk. So we're going to uh, start by um, setting up parts of the lock. So for that, I'm going to uh, take a cube, pull it up, not too much. Hit F. We're going to just uh, make this uh, a bit more decorative because otherwise it looks a bit boring. Hit F to zoom in. Okay. Uh, let me think. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, and we're just going to put in a couple of uh, edges like that. Hit Q. We're going to select that one, hit W, pull it up a little bit, something like that, okay. Hit Q again, right click, go to Vertex, I'm going to select these four, and I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale them in, something like that, yeah, not too bad, okay. Next, I'm going to uh, right click again, take these edges, and hit delete. Right click, go to face, select face, edit mesh, extrude, hit R to scale that in, something like that. Edit mesh, extrude again and hit W and just pull it up slightly, okay? Now we're going to bevel the edges, so right click, edge, we're going to drag select these edges, we're going to drag select these edges, oops, let's try that again. Edit mesh and bevel. Let's tweak that a bit. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Now we need the uh, the bent part, so we're gonna take a, a, a torus, something like that. We're going to go to object mode. Come on, object mode, like that. We're going to increase the subdivisions to 40 by 40. Hit E to flip it over 90 degrees. And actually 90 degrees again. 
So let's see where we're at. That should be 90. That should be 90. That should be zero. There we go. And we're going to cut that torus in half. So we're going to go to this view here. Right click, face, drag, select the bottom. Oops, drag, select the bottom part of the uh, the ring, like that. Right click, object mode, select it, hit R, and scale it down quite a bit. Go to our top view, hit W. Let's get this in the center, something like that. And let's make sure that this is okay as well. So let's see what that looks like. Okay. Now we're going to select these two. Go to Mesh and Combine. Hit E. Modify Center Pivot. Tilt it by minus 90. Okay. We're going to select our object and we're going to move it into position. So pull it out something like that. We're going to see if it's nice and center. And as you can see, it is not. Now it is. And it's a bit too big, so we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that to something like that. Okay. Let's see if we got everything correctly. We need to move that in a bit. Okay, so that's what we got so far. Now we need to create the top part. Okay, um, let's see if we can reuse some elements. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, that one. Oops, hit Control D. We're going to pull that up. Pull that out. Hit E to flip that over by minus 270, like that. Okay. We're going to select that, go to Mesh and Separate, because if we stretch it out, the rings will stretch out as well. We're going to take that element, we're going to hit R, Modify Center Pivot. So we're going to stretch that one. Let's get that in position, roughly. So pull that down, pull that, up, pull that in. Let's move that into position. That would be about right. As you can see, it's still uh, too long, so we're going to pull it back a little bit and pull it up a bit, like that. Now we're going to take the two parts that we didn't use yet, these two, and we're going to get them back into position, modify center pivot. Okay. Check this view again. That looks about right. Okay. Now we need to create a latch part. First, let's see if this one is in position. I'm just going to select those. Mesh combine. Hit W, modify center pivot. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we need to create a latch part for this uh, section here, okay? So for that, again, uh, we're gonna take a cube. We're gonna drag that out in the grid. We're gonna pull that up just a little. 
and we're going to add some decoration to it. So top view, hit F. We're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and we're just going to throw in a couple of these edges like that. We're going to hit F to zoom in. Oop, not too much. Right click, go to Vertex, hit Q first, go to Vertex, drag select these, hit R, scale that in, scale that in. We're going to scale those in. The bottom two, something like that. We're going to select these three, select these two, maybe that one, okay, something like that, all right? And let's see up here, that is not too bad, okay. So now we've got that, we need to right click on that, go to object mode. Select it, hit E to rotate it by 90 degrees. We need to have um, a, a section on the top here that we can use. So we're going to go with uh, that object here. We're going to hit Control D, W to pull that up. Pull it over here, mesh separate. Now we don't need a plate, but we do need that little ring. So we're going to select that. We're going to push that into position. Okay, let's see where we're at. I'll do it from this view, maybe. Okay, so where is my plate? That is about it. Should be there. Let's just uh, check that. Hit W, modify center pivot. And let's see if we are in the middle. That's about right. Okay. So we got that and we got that. Mesh combine. Let's see if that will fit or not. Just going to go with my front view here. Hit F. And that's how it should look. Okay, so uh, it's not quite in place yet. As you can see, it needs to uh, be tilted a bit. So modify center pivot. Okay. All right, so there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up the scene a little bit. So I'm going to drag select the entire trunk. Go to Mesh and Combine. And I'm going to pull that up a little bit like that. I'm going to create a ground plane. Something like that. Just scale that out quite a bit. I'm going to take my trunk and make sure it's sitting level on the ground plane like that okay so that's our trunk uh, I'm gonna set up some uh, hey interesting hang on mesh and separate I need to change back my corner pieces
That's better. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to select my trunk, right click, assign new material. I'm going to go with a uh, Fong E, and I'm going to make that black. Okay. I'm going to select the corner pieces. And uh, the uh, latches, like that, and those, and I'm going to right click, assign new material, MIA underscore material X, material tab, presets, chrome, and replace. Uh, let me think, new. Uh, Presets, copper, and replace. Uh, yeah, that's better. And I'm going to take this little piece here. And these pieces. Nope, not that one. Like that. And I'm going to right click, assign new material, MI material X, presets, chrome, replace, like so. I'm going to quickly set up some lighting. So, create lights, point light. I'm going to pull that up, pull that out over here. Let's check it from my top view. Uh, okay, that's about right. Uh, in my light tab, I'm going to go to shadows, use that map shadows. I'm going to right click on my ground plane here, right click, assign new material, Fong E. We're going to change that to white. I'm going to go to my render settings, uh, mental ray. Indirect lighting, uh, image based lighting. That will allow me to select a file. And uh, I'm going to look for my HDRI files. And we'll go with a. Um, I got one. Arches, that's nice. Okay, so I got that set up. Uh, I'm going to set up an ambient light. So create lights, ambient light. I'm going to pull that up, pull that out over here. And I'm going to bring the intensity down to 0 0.1. Okay. Now we're going to set up for rendering like that. And let's give it a go. Render settings. I'm going to select global illumination. Global illumination. My quality up to 1.25. Common tab. I'm going to change my file size to HD 1080. Where is it? There it is. And I'm going to hit render. I'm going to pause the video during the render because that will probably take a while and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Alright guys, and I'm back. Well, this is the final render. Um, got some reflection going on here that's caused by my HDRI image that I'm using for lighting. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool, but you can use a different file if you want, of course. Um, so this is it. If you got any questions, let me know. Uh, it was uh, fun to do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.